hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been a hot minute since i've posted a video i'm sure you're probably all aware that i have moved house now i've been literally talking about moving house on my channel since i started my channel two days time i'll have been well actually it's a month, a month today um that we moved in so i thought maybe it's a good time to do a little roundup video i'm also going to show you a little bit of a house tour and a few little things that i've bought for the house like little bits and bobs and just the way we've kind of got it looking now today's video is basically going to be a little house tour and just like a bit of homeware a bit of a homeware haul um not really a haul just like me showing you things that i've already bought and put out and where they're from and just little things like that and just showing you a few before and afters of the house we've still got a lot to do there's a long long way to go yet i'm starting to feel really happy with the way it's looking i'm just looking into the living room now and it looks really nice so i'm going to do a little bit of tidying up in a minute um once i've finished doing some work and then i will show you around the kitchen and the living room uh, and i'll put up some pictures of what it looked like before as well so that you can just see for reference of what we've actually done so if you're interested in seeing my new house and just a few little home improvements um some homeware bits and bobs then all you've got to do is keep on watching so as promised yesterday i'm going to give you a little um just a little tour of my downstairs in my house um, I'm not going to show you upstairs yet because upstairs is still a massive work in progress. Um, so I'm just going to show you downstairs because this is basically the only part that we've sort of really got done so far. So I'll start from the hallway. So first thing that we got done when we first moved in was the flooring. So I know I'll probably get a few questions on this because I've had a lot of people asking me in general anyway, like just in my daily people that I know daily live. So this flooring is um, LVT, so it's luxury vinyl, and it's obviously in herringbone. Um, I can't remember the shade name. I'll put the name of it on the screen if I can remember. But yeah, this is our flooring. So as I said, it's herringbone LVT, so it's luxury vinyl, a little bit like Cardine, if you know what Cardine is. It's totally scratch resistant, um, totally waterproof, and it lasts for years. So we've just had that that flows all the way through into the kitchen which i'm really really obsessed with good it's so easy to clean and it's just really really easy in this corner here so this is what we've currently got the window looking like so we actually only put these curtains up yesterday these are sheer voile curtains from Donnell. I'm pretty sure they're called marley slot top single voile panel um i'll try and link them if i can um but they're just like this sort of um, mild sort of effect but they are like a really nice creamy sort of off-white color and then obviously we've got the wooden venetian blinds which are from blinds to go so they're made to measure they came really really quick um, and they're actually really really good quality i didn't think they were going to be that good but they are the curtain pole is actually from bnm that was only 20 pound very very good quality i'm really impressed with that i thought it was going to be pants but it's not it's really good and then this vase is from habitat and this pampas grass is from dunelm that was 10 pound and i think the vase was 18 so it's a little bit expensive but it looks good on there you'd actually have something else on there yesterday and this um plant was on my kitchen table so i've swapped it round because i think this actually looks better the black vase kind of ties in with the curtain pole nicer so i've swapped it round so you'll see what was there in a minute because it's now on my kitchen table and it looks crap ignore the bed sheet there i probably should have moved that before i started filming this um so this is just a temporary sofa for us at the moment because um we actually bought this off a friend because we knew that we were going to be spending lots of money doing other things in the house just for the time being until we've got the things done that we want to get done and then we are going to buy a new sofa um we bought this rug a couple of days ago this was actually from carpet right it was in the sale for 75 pound um and lucky for us the manager was really really nice and he said to us that we could have it for 50 quid so we got this huge rug from carpet lot carpet right for 50 pound which is an absolute steal it looks really nice i think it ties in with the room really really well the light fitting is from dunelm it's actually a bathroom light fitting um but i think it looks fine in here i really like it i'm actually obsessed with it it was like one of the first things that we put in i i just really like it i think it looks lovely cushions are a bit i'm not sure if they're working on the sofa they did look really good at first but now that we've actually like sort of sat on the sofa and sat on the cushions they've gone a little bit misshapen and they don't look that good um but in case anybody's interested um this linen cushion is from dunelm it's this edited life range it is such a good range i'm obsessed with it like all of the stuff is really really nice it's all like minimal and neutral so if you're that kind of person you like that sort of minimal neutral style like i do um have a look at this edited life range on um dunelm because it's really good and then this other cushion behind it is from primark home that was 10 pound and obviously i've got two of those 
there's the other one there's the other cushion and then this throw is just a really cheap one from ikea i just i grabbed it with the intention of like covering the sofa up with it because i wasn't sure what the sofa was going to be like when we got it and um, we did actually like clean this properly with like a proper vax carpet cleaner sort of machine um it's come up better than it was but it's still a bit grubby um i hate it but it's it, it's fine for now and then this throw is actually from boohoo home boohoo home have some really good stuff um i bought some black linen cushion covers like these ones i just need to buy some more cushions to go with them like the actual inside of the cushion and then i think i'm going to swap these linen ones out for the black ones and then have the linen ones for my bed so we'll see um this is robert you'll have to excuse the slippers this is robert i've put a little a label on him because i'm obsessed with labeling he was from sainsbury's he's thriving here he loves it he's one of those i can't remember what it's called now but i have got the label in there but he lasts like he just doesn't need water and he's really really reliable which is great and he's got a little chip in the bottom though so i'm going to replace his pot because i don't really want a gray one anyway moving on to this mess that we've got over here this is obviously a media unit media wall whatever you want to call it we've got a fire in here we've got the tv here um, but this needs finishing off, so I'll be sure to show you what it looks like when it's done. Uh, moving into the kitchen, I probably should have cleaned up a little bit more before I show you this. But, he, you know, no one's house is perfect and mine definitely isn't. Um, so it looks really nice when I'm sat at the, at the kitchen table doing my work. I love looking into the living room. The light that comes in is just gorgeous. Um, I need to open the blinds, um, but I'll just put them down because it actually looks better when they're down. So we've got these double doors here and then obviously the flooring still continues through the into the kitchen. And then this is our kitchen. So this was already here, obviously, when we moved in. People who bought the house off changed all the kitchen and put this like high gloss white kitchen in so the handles were actually like thick and silver um, and we changed them to these black ones just to tie in a little bit more with the black theme running through the house obviously we've got a coffee machine the kettle the coffee tea and sugar um just a little serving board for like basically just for decoration and um, our um, salt and pepper mills they were from pro cook they're electric ones i'm obsessed with them and then this is my pride and joy my magnetic knife block but if you know me i'm a right foodie and these are the sharpest knives i've ever owned and i love them induction hob um cooker and all that stuff very boring uh, we've got the fridge built in washing machine and then i need to put all that washing up away like i said this is a real video i'm not about to start acting like my house is perfect because it's definitely not so i've got this little um kitchen roll stand here this was from b m which was about five quid really good Got myself a little Alexa so I can listen to my tunes when I'm cooking and cleaning up. I don't know if you can see this, but this is like little black and wooden um, sink drainer. It was from Matalan. Matalan Home is absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with it. And then we've got the microwave in the corner. This is the Swan Nordic Collection microwave. And obviously, yeah, this side, like I said, I've just spilt sugar everywhere because it's making a cup of tea. So I need to clean that up in a second. This is the, obviously the matching kettle to the microwave we've also got the toaster as well but it's not very good it keeps breaking we've bought two now and they've both broken and then i'll show you this side of the kitchen so please ignore the state of this table i'm fully aware that i shouldn't be filming this while um it looks like this so this is what it looks like so that plant and that vase was actually on the windowsill but i swapped it for the the um black one with the pampas grass so we've got a little light fitting here. This actually needs to move back a little bit. So we're going to move this back um, in a couple of weeks time. We've got this table and bench and these two chairs. So this is a wishbone chair from Dunelm. And um, we bought two of those. And then the bench and the table are both from B&Q. They were actually really reasonably priced, which is amazing. The little rattan placemats are from Wilco's. The cork cup holders um, placemats are from ikea this little candles from bn vase is from boohoo home and then the little eucalyptus is from dunal and then here is my bin i'm not going to show you inside of the bin but who knew bins were so expensive this bin was literally like 70 pound um then i've labeled this as well recycling rubbish i'm obsessed with my label maker pretty much the whole of the downstairs that i've got to show you for now um i do want to do a few more videos like this i'm not sure if i'm going to add anything else onto this video just because i have been trying to upload videos for ages and everything's just sort of all over the place if i get a chance to add any clips into this i will if anyone's got any questions about where anything's from please leave me a comment and i will get back to you also let me just show you my um ham soap dispenser that i've got in my kitchen 
um i'm obsessed with this don't ask me why but i just think it's really really nice um, this is from Matalan Home. Looking to buy a house or you're in the process of buying a house and you're looking for like places to buy really nice homeware stuff, Matalan Home is amazing. Don't sleep on it. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave this video here. It's only going to be short and sweet, but like I just wanted to show you a little bit around the house and to just get some content out really because I miss posting on YouTube and it's difficult to actually get videos up when you're so busy all the time. Like I'm constantly cleaning the house. And because my upstairs is a bit all over the place at the moment, I've got nowhere to actually film sit down videos. So for now, I'm just going to have to do some vlogs, which I know aren't as popular on my channel because obviously people aren't searching for vlogs, but that's absolutely fine. Um, so I'm happy to do some house content for a little bit. Um, if you like the video, please let me know. Please leave a comment, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I am a lot more active on TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, um, there's a link in my bio to my TikTok account. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. So bye guys.